I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love The Loser. I love animals. I've been a Pokemon fan for so long, I can't even remember if I became interested in Pokemon because I loved animals, or if I developed an interest in animals thanks to my love of Pokemon. Either way, once or twice in my life I've tried to become a vegetarian, and though I lasted about a year once, I've never really been able to stick with it because I eat like a child and I don't like vegetables. In the Pokemon world though, I'm even weirder about the idea of eating them. It's come up once or twice before in Pokedex entries, or even in the actual events of games and anime episodes, from eating the fruits off Atropius, all the way up to Team Rocket cutting off Slowpoke tails. It's always a little weird and makes me squeamish. Veluza is a water and psychic type Pokemon found in Paldea. With a sharp, predatory design, it reminds me of Generation 8's Arrokuda, yet it has a unique skill that separates it from that fish. Pokemon Violet explains, Veluza has excellent regenerative capabilities. It sheds spare flesh from its body to boost its agility, then charges at its prey. In game, Veluza's animations literally show it shedding chunks of its own body when attacking. Scarlet expands on this, and raises those awkward questions about eating Pokemon. When Veluza discards unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed, and its psychic power increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious flavor. This also manifests in the unique move, Fill It Away, which massively boosts Veluza's attacking stats and speed in exchange for half its health. It can also be seen in the ability Mold Breaker, with Veluza shedding the effects of other Pokemon's abilities, I suppose. Veluza's other ability is more interesting. Sharpness improves the damage of various slicing moves, many of which Veluza can learn. With a tactically deployed Fill It Away and the Sharpness ability, Veluza can deal exceptional damage. Volt in Veluza, says the gym leader Kofu, and he uses a Veluza though not to its full, devastating effect. The name Veluza combines Velocity, or the Spanish Veloz, with Maluza, the Spanish name for a popular type of fish eaten in Spain, in English called a jaque. This fish, and the filleting of it, should it be filleting? Fillet away? Sounds like something RuPaul would say. Anyway, this fish, and the filleting of it, is the main inspiration for the Pokémon. The Japanese name, Migaluza, also combines this fish with Migaru, Japanese for nimble. I don't want to eat a Veluza, or any other Pokemon. I wish I didn't want to eat animals in the real world. Unfortunately, I just love the taste, and I guess I have a weak will. Here's hoping those lab-grown burgers and artificial meats will become more widespread soon. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing, and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. While funding is provided by lovely listeners at patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Our next Pokemon will be Dondozo and Tatsugiri. So if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM or an email to lukelovespkmn at gmail.com. If you like this podcast, please rate and review wherever you're listening or tell a friend. And if you want to hear more Pokemon chatter from me, come by twitch.tv slash LukeLovesPKMN, most Saturday nights from 9pm UK time. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love the loser, and remember, I love you too. <laughs>